Hey, so today we're gonna make royal icing for my decorative sugar cookies. And I just put in my mixing bowl eight tablespoons of meringue powder. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm making a large batch. And then I put in about five ounces of just room temperature water and I've got my whisk attachment. And I've got this on what I would consider medium to low speed. Obviously I've sped the video up so it's gonna look a little faster than that. Um, but I wanna mix this in until it's good and foamy. And so that's usually around a minute or so. Once that's all mixed in, I'm gonna go ahead and add about two pounds of powdered sugar. Now, I just added mine directly from the bag. If yours is clumpy or just looks kind of dried out from the grocery store, it would be a better idea to sift this or to at least run a whisk through it. Um, mine was nice and soft, I didn't have any problems, so I just added it directly into my mixing bowl. And then I turned it back on, medium low again, for about 30 seconds to a minute, just to incorporate that powdered sugar. And then of course I'm scraping my bowl down really well. And now I'm gonna let that go for about two minutes. I want that to whip a little bit of air into that meringue powder, powdered sugar, water mixture. And then I'm gonna pour in just a little bit of clear vanilla extract. And I kind of do that on the side, so you probably won't see it, but just know there is some clear vanilla extract being added to that. Uh, for this recipe, I would do two teaspoons. And you can really add any flavoring you want. A lot of people like almond or lemon. Please feel free to do what you want. I want something very simple and basic and classic, so I just use the clear vanilla. So then I remove the whisk attachment, add my paddle attachment, because I don't want to keep beating so much air into it that is, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it can get too fluffy in my opinion, royal icing pan. I like a little bit smoother for myself. So I put on the paddle attachment, added another couple of ounces of water, and then continue scraping that bowl down and mixing that in. Once all the water that I just added is incorporated, I'm gonna add another roughly one pound of powdered sugar. And I always wrap a towel around my bowl because that powdered sugar will definitely come flying out at you, as I'm sure most of you know. So I'm gonna add that in, turn it on low to let it mix in, then scrape my bowl down before I add the remainder of the powdered sugar. So I'm adding four pounds total of powdered sugar to this recipe. Like I said, it is a very large batch of royal icing. So I added the rest of my powdered sugar, turn it back on low with my towel wrapped around it, and then once it's not flying up out of the bowl, I will uncover that to let it continue to mix. So I bump that up to about medium speed once I've got it scraped down really well, and I add the remainder of my water. At this point, it's just gonna be a couple of ounces. And I'm gonna let that go for about five minutes with the paddle attachment on medium speed once all of my ingredients are completely incorporated. Okay, so after that five minutes is up, I have a nice, fluffy, shiny, meringue powder based royal icing. And then I like to store it in just an airtight plastic or glass container, whichever you prefer. I do keep it in my refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. Now it's really thick, so you'll wanna thin it out as needed.